This way. Yeah, this way. So you put it down, just like that. Hey everyone, it's JC from Active. I wanted to give you guys an update on the foam cannon development. The number one feature that everyone was asking about was the foam, the quality of foam. You know, the goal was to make the best foam cannon. Of course, that starts with the mechanism, you know, making sure that we could say that we have the best foam, because that's number one. So if we have the best foam, we're making the best product. All of the original development was going into the mechanism inside here to develop that really nice thick foam. If you saw the Christmas video, we were able to demonstrate, you know, this particular prototype in action. Second big change, we can open this up here. Oh, we, we talked in previous videos about the shape and the size of the bottle, so this is where we landed. It will not be this color. This is a quick, rapid prototype that we made. The main kind of discoveries we had when we were looking at our early prototypes were how, how easy was it to lift up, how much formula could it hold, and how much was too much. We could make a, a two liter bottle, but if that's on the end of your, your gun, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be very happy with it. So it can hold a little bit over a liter of formula inside here, and it's easy to uh, hold in the hand. This was our optimized solution. Continuing on with the bottle, the other key thing to notice on here was the, the wide mouth. On our original one, we had this very small. This was very, very difficult to add formula, mix it. The bottle is this kind of milky color, so. Nice and wide clear bottle. You can see we have added measurement markings on the side. This model does not have it, but the production piece will have your all your measurements on the side here. For this model, we did want a twist and lock top, but we found that as you're using it, it was very difficult to get a good quality seal on the twist and lock. Our final model, the production piece, will have a fully threaded top, and it's a it's a very good quality seal, uh, nice and strong, no leaks. Uh, and finally, the last bit to talk about the bottle was that when it's full, when it's empty, it shouldn't tip over. So if you look at the bottom profile, it's, a, it's basically designed like a tripod. So as you put it on the table, empty, it's, yeah, it's not going anywhere. Fill it up, it's even more stable. With the gun on it, with the hose on it, it's still, it's not gonna fall over. So that was a key characteristic that we just, we needed to have. Moving up to the actual cannon itself. So the, the lid of the bottle, nice grip texture, easy to open with wet hands. Again, the cannon itself. This particular model, it doesn't have any texture on it. The production piece will have textured uh, grip on the cannon. So when you're adjusting the fan shape, you can do it with wet hands, no problem, nice and easy. It's a very smooth action as well. And then again, you can also rotate the whole thing to change the angle of the spray. So vertical, horizontal, everything in between. This, this product, it's, it's another one in the, in the active family. So it's, it's also important that it, it fits in well with the gun, with the 2.0, with the 2.3 that's coming. So we're really starting to develop a family of products here that, that work well together. So again, as always, um, you know, it was, it was your feedback that got us to this point. So we're always looking for more. So any, any suggestions, any thoughts you have, please keep them coming. Please go to the website and sign up for uh, all the notifications. You'll get info about new products launched, pre-orders, uh, and, and anything else new that's coming out from Active. <laughs>